Charlton Athletic Football Club exist in a different world to London's more fashionable FA Cup contenders. While City rivals Chelsea and Arsenal epitomise the capital's prestige, the Addicts are South East London's pride, trying to re-establish themselves in the second tier of English football and hoping the FA Cup can bring them a touch of glamour. We can only be ourselves and we can only work within our means. Like their illustrious neighbours, Charlton have the chance to reach the last eight. They need to negotiate a trip to Hillsborough, where they face fellow championship strugglers, Sheffield Wednesday. You never know what can happen. You know, you can look at Millwall last year, ending up in the semi-finals. You know, an unfancied side like Wigan um, actually winning it. I've never been past the fifth round of the FA Cup, so personally, I'm looking at it. You know, you've got a chance to get into the quarter-final of the FA Cup. That don't come around all the time. It's the dawn of a new era at the Valley. Belgian owner Roland Duchatelet completed his takeover in January, adding Charlton to his growing dynasty. With him came six new players, five from the Belgians' other clubs. Languishing in the relegation zone, fresh impetus is welcome. We've got a new, new owner now, the takeover's happened, some new players and, and the window's shut now, so we've pretty much got our squad for the, for the remainder of the season. A change at the top means a fresh approach. And many see Charlton's new continental squad structure as the way forward for clubs at their level. Any new player when they join a side, they want to show first off their, their manager that they're worth coming here, their fellow players that they're playing alongside, that they have the ability to, to play in amongst them and, and, and play well and lend their qualities to the team. But ultimately, they want to show the supporters that they're, uh, they're here to make a difference. Charlton's youth ranks are bearing fruit, though. One graduate has a familiar name, Diego Poyet, son of cup winner Gus. Yeah, he's a great lad, Diego. He's a talented player and he's come straight into the side and, you know, like he's been there, been there for years. I actually played with his dad at Spurs, so played with dad and son now. And uh, if he's half, half as good as his dad was, then he'll have, to, he'll have some career. The cup omens are good for Powell's new look side. Sheffield Wednesday were beaten 4-2 the last time Charlton reached the quarter-finals. Another away day awaits, but after a 2-2 draw at home to Oxford this season, Charlton proved they can win on their travels. We had a, you know, a tricky replay at Oxford, which we overcome brilliantly, and then uh, a tie-up at uh, Huddersfield as well, which you know, is, is, a, is a difficult place to go, and we went there and won. And, you know, we, we know all about Sheffield Wednesday. They've been a bit of a rival for us over the last few years, and we know what they're about. They're a big, strong, physical side, especially at home. You know, they make it difficult for you. Sometimes they bombard your area with crosses, pace out wide, and things like that. So it's a difficult game, but certainly a place that we know that we that we can go and win. We've done it before, and unbelievable opportunity to get into the quarterfinal of the cup. We want to progress. We're in the last 16. We want to get to the last eight. And hopefully, uh, alongside that, you know, our, our league position will improve. I think that one win, especially like the new lads, obviously haven't won a game yet, being here. I think that one win will galvanise the whole whole squad, the morale, the confidence, and and we can go on from there. Why not have um, a day at Wembley? Why not uh, do your best to to get there? You never know what can happen. I was an Arsenal fan as a kid and went and watched FA Cup finals at the old Wembley and. You know, you dream of playing in, a, in an FA Cup final at Wembley, hopefully winning it. The semis are there now, two games away from that. The quarter final, hopefully, against the top side. You know, there's plenty to look forward to. It is, it is the romance of the Cup. Shine.